Jamie Dimon just said yesterday, or maybe the day before, uh, had a meeting in Washington where he said there should be a Marshall Plan for energy. So one of the component parts is, uh, I think, what you're referring to, which is permitting. We want to make we should make permitting easier, especially given the the current situation we have uh, relative with, to, with Russia right now. But beyond that, what else would you do? I mean, are we talking about tax incentives? Are we talking about something even grander? No, I'm not talking about tax incentives. I'm talking about let the market play out. You know, we had this revolution in natural gas that occurred over the last two decades. By the way, as you know, we have reduced greenhouse gas emissions because of that more than any other country, major economy in the world by far. What I'm saying is get the federal government's boot off the neck of American producers. That's with regard to permitting. Think about it, Andrew. FERC just put out a rule that's going to make it much harder to transport and export natural gas. Their job is actually the opposite. And they just put out a rule. You may have seen the hearing that Joe Manchin chaired, where he brought all five of the FERC regulators in front of the committee and said, this is ridiculous. It's the same with regard to finance. Now, look, the big energy companies are going to be able to get financing. But what I see in Alaska is smaller, independent companies who have come to me saying, they can't get financing. And I think this is due to a lot of pressure from federal regulators and this administration's pressuring of uh, American financial institutions. My view is those financial institutions need to wake up, not take the pressure, and certainly not make grandiose announcements that they're going to blackball investment in America's Arctic, Alaska, when they're at the same time investing major capital in the Chinese Communist Party. Again, I think Congress is getting really tired of this hypocrisy, and I do think there's going to be a reckoning on this, but we need American energy. We're going to need it for decades. Case. We should have the federal government help us produce it, not try to kill it, which is exactly what this administration has hey, done Senator, in year one. Senator, I have to say, I, I, I hear you on everything yep. you're saying on these points, but I think a, a huge reason that you don't see some of the big companies investing at this point is... <laughs> because there's no rules of the road. There, there, there's nothing that tells them that an investment they make today is going to be worth anything four years from now, six years from now, eight years from now. And you can't make billions of dollars worth of investment when you know that the two parties can't agree on things, and so it's going to get torn up every two to four years. Um, is there any chance that in Washington there could be some sort of central movement. And I think this is what yeah. Jamie Dimon was talking about when he was talking about a Marshall Plan. Yeah. Let's get a plan in place that doesn't get ripped up because a different party comes into power. How, how do we lay things out so that public companies can feel very yeah. comfortable investing billions of dollars and not thinking it's going to be lost? Uh, Becky, you're making a great point. And I agree 100 percent that it is every election seems to have a different approach. But I would say the Biden administration's approach has been particularly egregious. You know, producing American energy, American energy independence has been a bipartisan goal of administrations, you know, dating back to the end of World War II. Even President Ob uh, Obama oh, okay. was very supportive of natural gas. So I think what we need to do, particularly now in this new uh, era of what I call authoritarian aggression, led by Xi Jinping and Putin, is to recognize one of our great strengths is American energy. It's also sure. American natural resources. Senator, it's also what do you, what do you tell critical the, minerals.